Hi everyone, Lynn again. I just thought I'd pop on and do a wee video of my palettes. Uh, this is part two. I did a big video yesterday. But I've realised some of my palettes I can't find. I think I've actually left a few at my mum's. Because I, lo I had a lovely Revolution palette. Really nice colours that I wear. Very much like the Zoeva one. That my lovely friend uh, Sally sent me. And I can't find it. But I know I've left some palettes down at my mum's. I think that's where that is. Along with a couple of Estee Lauder ones. So this is just a few Estee Lauder palettes and bits and pieces. As this video shouldn't be as long as yesterday's video, so first of all, I got this Profusion Cosmetics when my son got me that last year. Got a Morrison's again. I like really like these colours, and I've got a Profusion Highlight Palette. I've probably used this actually. See, digging out these palettes to film, I've realised actually what I've got, and I've got a lovely Laura Gala blush palette. I really like her baked blushes. I really like those shades. They're really really nice. So and found that looking sorting this video out. So I'm going to take to start um you know using using these things up and that's a little palette we got from Birchbox in December and that beautiful bag we got and that was naturally yours which I need to remember to cancel my Birchbox and our little got Laura Geller palette I think this was from a Tilly box no this wasn't for a Tilly box it was the purple ones for a Tilly box I got that in, off of eBay you know a good price for it for pound or something I got that for and our little these are just the little palettes Laura Gale, I like that shade on, that's lovely one. That, and then a couple of Laura Gale is, is this one. That was a plum torch, I really like, these are years old by the way, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. And th this is one, this is my favourite one, I've actually got another one of these uh, put by. And this was baked cinnamon stripes, and look how well I've done with that. Right hip pan that, really, really well. Did that. There's a little uh, pixie palette we got in a set. Uh, a QVC, oh, that's a while ago as well, that must be a couple of years old. And uh, another one? Uh, oh, this is the one that I got, it was in my uh, 10 palettes I'd save, is the It Cosmetics Superhero one. And this is all your, your eyeshadow bases, and I like that as a liner, that colour there, definitely like that as a liner. So that was in one of my 10 palettes I'd save. And this palette is volume one of the one that was in that video as well of my tart palette with your contour and your eyeshadows. And that was volume one. The next volume two had your blusher and your highlight in it. This is on a couple of more tart palettes. Now this was a set from QVC, that one and that one, and that was years ago. That must be a good three years, if not longer, the tart. And I remember saying in yesterday's video I was looking for a highlight palette with just the three in it. Well, I couldn't find it because I've not actually started using it yet. I really like, really like that shade. Really, really like that shade. And yeah, like that. So I'm not going to start using that because I've still got the other one on the go and it'll take my while. So whether I'll give this away, sell it on eBay, I'll just keep it. I'll move it up my mind. And a couple of tart parts. Now these sets were years old as well. I like getting that, my favourite colour. And the other one in this was, it was on auto delivery at the time. And that was the other palette, the second one. I like that, the two shades. So that was my baby tart palettes, which I forgot I had. Now, my Estee Lauder, I keep in this case, I keep my Estee Lauder makeup separate. I like my Estee Lauder makeup. My foundations are in here and I wear 3N1 Ivory Beige in that. And the Camouflage Makeup Double Wear Maximum Cover is 3W1 Tone. I was matched up with that. And I have, um, the ma I've got Oral Crohn's and my face all swells up and goes red, like Port Weinstein all down and and it goes very, very red and it's like and my face all swells up. Um I've got camouflage makeup from dermatology, the hospital, but this I think actually works better to be honest. So this is into my ST Lauder palettes. Now this was from a blockbuster kit and I think this was three years ago blockbuster kit or maybe even four. And I think I put one of these in my one of my giveaways because I didn't need to. Yeah, I've probably used that that one. And and I these are all ST Lauder. I got that one in a set in eBay. Now this was, I think, 2017's Blockbuster. It wasn't last year's. It wasn't, was it? No, it wasn't last year's. I really, really like that blush. We got a set of three of these. And I love the blues. Really like them. Yeah, I'm sure that was 2017's Blockbusters. As my mum gets me this every year for my birthday. I can see I've used a real that. She's really nice on the palettes. And, as I say, I love my Estee Lauder makeup, I really do. And that shade of blush is lovely on. And again, really nice packaging, my Estee Lauder. 
and it, oh, I, I saved them up, you know, you know, collect them when I'm always to get my blockbusters, and I couldn't afford to go to this to cut Lord Count and get this, that, and the next thing. Uh, and my foundation that I get losing all beauty, but it's slightly cheaper. You know, now I knew my shade get matched up, uh, and it's good when the have got their 10%, 15% off. That's when I get my foundation. And this was a blockbuster set I actually purchased a, a few years, a couple of years ago from eBay. Was that palette and that set? And look at those lovely shade of blushers. I really like that. I do like messy loader makeup, I really do. And this was a palette I've had for a while. Plastic still in it. I've never used it, I must have kept the plastic in it. I think this has got a drawer. That's your powder, your lipsticks, and your eyeshadows. That was a lovely palette. Again, I think I bought that on eBay at a really good price. And I think this is a little eyeshadow part. Again, well, see one thing about Estee Lauder, I really like my neutral colours. I do put like blues and things in. I try and I really do like it. I really do like blues. I know I get blue eyes. They say don't be a blue, but I don't go with the trend. I just wear what I like. And that's a lovely little blush palette. I need to start I need to start to take my makeup and start using stuff, I really do. This I think was last year's no, it wasn't last year. I think this was last year's blockbuster. I think that was the shades. And I realise this weather's getting really bad out here and I've got to go to the post office. I think I'll be heading out soon. Uh, my friends need to go to the post office well she doesn't drive us. So we're coming about one, which is about half past twelve now, and we're heading to down to in the Ezo to go to the post office. That's an abbey set I got in that was a wee set I got in the uh, eBay. If you go in there you do sometimes get really good bargains. That one. Oh, so opened one. done really well hitting pan in that. Again, a neutral shade. I like those. Those ones. And this was a wee palette. It was in that set for last year's Blockbuster. And I'm sure I should have a bronzer and highlight that. I must have put, misplaced that. That's another little set. I'll use that. I will need to start getting rotating this makeup to use. And I, I think that's actually different colours. That's not the same. Yeah, it is. It's, I thought maybe it's the same. I had two palettes the same. No, I don't. They're definitely different colours. So they are. And, and I do like the, the still the packaging. It's an Abbey one I got off of eBay. Yeah. And I think this is just a blusher one. Is that one? Oh, this might be my. That's it. The bronze on highlight. That was last year's. This is just a blush. I got this off of eBay as well. Yep. Blush palette. And the last palette in here is our eyeshadow one. Use that a wee bit. And the other thing is just in here is like my powders and bits and pieces. And I do have a couple of lipsticks in there, but I've actually got a bag somewhere where I'm still with lipsticks, so I have. So that was that one. This set, my son bought me this. Uh, it must be about three Christmases ago, and opens up to the box. Oh, need to get this. And the three palettes came in there. They were really nice palettes. And then you got this bit, which came in this side like that. That's the way the, it came. And you just take this out and put whatever. If I can open this up without breaking it, one. Anyway, get the gist of it. You just change your palette into this but one you want to take with you. So that's the one I've been using. But this has made me realise I need to get the finger out my bum and start rotating my palettes. This is ridiculous. But as I say, I do keep my still order makeup in this case. So I just grab it and what I want to use. So I'm going to have to get back into... I have sometimes what I do if I put my makeup on, I'll stick to it. Look, I'll just use that brand and then use everything from my, my powders to my loose powder to my foundation. Everything. I'll just do, I'll do an still order face kind of thing. Yeah, and I've got a wee bag here for my, my, my Estee Lauder bag. Again, that came one of the kits with my eyeliners and uh, lip liners. But I do have a little bag somewhere with my lipsticks. I might do that video one day, uh, show my lipstick. We'll be here all day with that as well. So one, Lynn's got far too much makeup to get through. I need to get things sorted. I definitely do. I do like my Estee Lauder. I do like my tart and my Estee Lauder. I do. And that's the palettes so that I really, really like. And I now... now I've actually took time to sort out these, uh, to do these two videos. I'm going to start rotating my makeup and start using it. And I will need to sort out 
uh, like the lipsticks and that, I'll maybe do a video on that. But I've got uh, drawers and that I'll need to sort out and be ruthless, get a black bag and throw things out that's just really past the base. But my palettes and that, I find it very hard to part with. I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to that, to be honest. And this, I don't know if you hear this way, that is getting really, really, really bad, so it has. Uh, and Spencer's no visitors just today. He's lying through there in my son's bed, absolutely sound. So that's a couple of uh, days we've not had him, so we have. Uh, and because Spencer's got terrible separation, he's like, he comes out with us as well. That's just another wee part, wee eyeshadow part I found there in the bag. So yeah, I must admit, I do like my steel leather part. So that's just another pile of palettes, and I need to get back into using this. That must be, that must be about three years old. As I say, there's nothing wrong with it, the makeup. And as I said to you before in my video, I've heard me saying, I'm 54, I started wearing makeup when I was 12, eh, and there was no sale by dates and things in the days. I think it must be the late 80s before they started bringing in eh, expiry dates and things like that. It must be. Eh, so I just go, if it looks sorry, right, I mean, this palette must be a good as an example. That palette must be a good couple of years old, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. So I'm not going to throw it out. Yep, I'll stop blurring. So that's my love, my, my part two of my palettes. And I say I do have some palettes down at my mum's because I know I've lost, um, not lost, but misplaced a couple of Revolution palettes that I had. And the Revolution palette I got from my friend Sally was um, very much like the Soeva colours, and I really liked it. It was definitely my colours. And I say I've got one of these cases down at my mum's palettes and makeup so if I'm only going for one night I don't need to take the face to case I've got one down there uh, and I just take maybe my skincare and that with me anyway I'm blending a load of nonsense here so I'll say bye bye for now um, thanks so much for tuning and watching and thank you so much for staying uh, subscribed and you know, keep subscribing thank you very much I do appreciate that and I um, hope my latest in beauty box will come for December I'm waiting on my January's latest in beauty box and obviously my cohorted, my Look Incredible, my Birch Box and I think that is it. I have signed up for oh, my Harper Bazaar, that one that was a, a very per, uh, considered purchase, I got that box and I realised what I've done is I was floating about the internet yesterday and signed up for a new box but I do remember watching it on Amanda's channel and realised she said the items could be out of date, no, watch the expiry date, mind you I don't really care about expiry dates but I expect you know not to be out of date in the boxes, uh, that was the Ghoulie box and after I did it I thought oh I'm sure that's that box that Amanda, Amanda Muir said was a uh, dodger, so I need to wait to see what comes, uh, I've always, you can, after the month I got 20% off it so I got it for £28, so if I get the box it doesn't get dispatched after the 20th of January and discover it isn't, the items are kind of past or sale by date I will be cancelling. Um, it's after I did it I thought I'm sure that's that box. It was a while ago she got it and watched her video. I'm sure it was. See when it comes in anyway so that's a wee mistake I made but I just be floating about it on it a wee bit low yesterday and thought oh so much for me saying I was reading myself in and another one. But anyway I'll say bye bye for now and catch up very soon. I'm so glad I didn't go to Glasgow today that weather's absolutely horrendous. My son was saying we were going to uh, just past the Glasgow airport the day over the flyover bit and it was horrendous, the wind was really really bad um, it's where my mum stays, she's just uh, before Glasgow, over five minutes before Glasgow airport and he was going into Linwood and the car was like that so uh, I'm glad I didn't go down today, it's a long journey down you know if the weather's bad so anyway I'll say bye bye for now and see you very soon and maybe Spence will pop back again to say hello um, and I'll let you know tomorrow I will be back on when my boxes start coming, but I will let you know how Molly gets on tomorrow. So thanks very much guys for tuning and watching, and I'll catch up with you all very soon. Bye bye.